So now let me show you some example problems for um, how we're going to use De Morgan's theorem to simplify Boolean functions. Uh, so for example one, suppose we were asked to minimize f. And f is this function, um, let's say it's a, b not knotted, or with a not or b not anded with c. Okay, so this is going to, this algebraic function corresponds to a logical gate array. We want to minimize this, meaning that we want to express this same logic, but with fewer gates. So we're going to use De Morgan's. First of all, you see that there's a knot on the outside of this term of the parentheses. So if I apply De Morgan's to this, I'm going to distribute the knot to the A and the B knot, and I'm going to change this AND to an OR. So this term here becomes A knot or B not not because B is already knotted when I distribute this knot inside to the parentheses this get B not gets another knot. Okay great so then this thing here these two terms are ORed and we have a knot on the outside of this parentheses so I'm going to apply De Morgan's to this term also. So what happens we distribute the knot to both of these terms and we change the OR to an AND so it looks like this, a not gets, an another, gets another not, we change this, and, uh, this or to an and, and this b gets a not. And then this thing here is still being anded with c. So then what else can we do to simplify? Well, we know if we not not something that that just becomes the regular. So um, since x not not is equal to x, I'll say since this is true, then I can write this next line. This is equivalent to a naught or b, or a anded with b naught, anded with c. And then since anding is associative, I could say by associativity, this can be written as a naught or b, or a b naught c. And um, this is the simplification of this original function here. Um, let me show you another example. Suppose we have um, a function we want to minimize. Minimize f, where f is w naught or x naught knotted, or w naught x not y knotted or y not z and the whole thing gets knotted. So the first thing we're going to do since we have this entire function is negated with this complement here we're going to use De Morgan's to distribute this complement to all of these terms. Now you have to be a little bit careful. At this point we're not going to distribute this complement to all of these individual inputs, right? Not all of these literals. But the terms that are separated by ORs are this one, this one, and this one. So if we're applying De Morgan's to basically this term, or this term, or this term, we're going to distribute the knot to each one of these individually and change these ORs into ANDs. Even though we know that each one of these terms is actually composed of this, all this stuff that's in parentheses, we're not ready to touch the stuff that's in parentheses. So just um, distribute this knot to the outside of the parentheses of each of these terms. Okay, cool, so let's do that. This becomes w naught or x naught naught naught. So this is this naught getting distributed in here, right there. We change this or to an and, and then this term here gets another naught, w naught x naught y naught with this naught from the outside that gets distributed in, and then change this OR to an AND, and then this term here, Y not Z, gets its own NOT. Okay, great. So we know that since anything double knotted is just origin, um, equal to the original input, wherever we see a double knot, we can simplify this to W naught or X naught. That just becomes um, the original times w naught x naught y times y naught z naught. Okay, so then 
and continuing with my simplification, um, what I'm going to do is, if you look at these terms here, these are all being added together, and um, these are being added together, and these are being ORed together, right? But I still have this NOT that's on the outside of this term right here. So let me go ahead and apply De Morgan's to this thing here to get rid of that NOT that's on the outside of the parentheses. So these ones I'm going to keep together. These are the same. And then if I apply De Morgan's to this third term, I'm going to distribute this NOT into all the inputs, and I'm going to change this AND to an OR. So this becomes Y NOT NOT, change the AND to an OR, and then Z gets its own NOT. And now I don't have that negative on the outside because I distribute it on the inside. And now at this point, um, by commutativity of all of these terms that are being anded together, I'm just going to write this first term, this middle term first, w naught x naught y, and then these terms that are being or together, I'm going to put those next to each other so I can FOIL them. w naught or x naught, anded with y or z naught. Um, I'm rewriting y double naught as just plain y because of this property right here. And now, that thing there, I can FOIL. So the official term for that is distribution. So by distribution, aka FOILing, um, this can be written as, take the first terms multiplied together, W naught Y, or the outside terms multiplied together, W naught Z naught, or with the inside terms multiplied together, x naught y, and then finally the last, x naught z naught. Great, then I want to take this term here and I'm going to distribute. So I'm just going to multiply by all these terms here and then or all my results together. So this gives me w naught x naught y times w naught y, or this second term here, w naught x naught y times w naught z naught. Then the third term, w naught x naught y times x naught y. And then finally the fourth term, w naught x naught y times x naught z naught. So I just took this term here and I multiplied by this, plus multiplied by this, plus multiplied by this, plus multiplied by this. And now, um, again because of commutativity, this one here has two w naught terms. So if I write them next to each other, it looks like this. I still have an x naught, I have a y, and a y. Here, again, I have two w naught terms, and then I have an x naught, a y, and a z naught. And then I have a w naught, I have two x naught terms, and I have two y naught terms. And here I've got a w naught, I've got two x naught terms, a y, and a z naught. Now I'm ready to simplify. So here we've got basically duplicates. And here's another duplicate, duplicates. So we have that since whatever our input is, if we AND something with itself, that's just equal to one of them, right? So we don't need two of them ANDed together, we can just replace that with one. So everywhere you see these groupings here, we can simplify that to be omega naught x naught. So I write one, um, not omega, sorry, I write one w, I write one y, here I'm going to write one w naught. I still have an x naught, y, z naught. Here I'm going to write one x naught for both of those, and I'm going to write one y for both of those. And here I'm going to write one x naught and a y, z naught. And then what can I do? I have that. Well, look at this. That is the same as this. And this is the same as that. So, since if we OR something with itself, we just get 
whatever a is, right? So this is for any a. If we or a with itself, we just get a. So that means if we have two copies of something or together, then we can replace that with just one. So in place of this and this, I'm just going to write 1, w not x not y. And in place of both of these copies, I'm just going to write 1, z not. OK, great. And now I can factor out, looks like this has a w not x not, and this has a w not x not. So I'm going to factor. I get w not x not times y or y z not. Looks like I also have a y. We can factor that out too. 1 or z not. And then I have that since anything or with 1 is just going to be equal to 1, that makes this term here 1. So that leaves me with w not x not y. Okay, so my simplification of this original function after doing all those steps just breaks down to um, simply three inputs, two inverters, and one three input AND gate. So let me know if you have any questions about those examples.